Welcome to our new book, Say It With Symbols. This is our first investigation, Investigation 1.1, Making Sense of Symbols. And we're going to be looking specifically at equivalent expressions. So our focus question is, what expressions represent, or what expressions represent the number of border tiles needed to surround a square pool with side length S? So I'll get rid of that extra S. So we're going to be looking specifically at square pools and we're going to be looking at border tiles around them but at the same time we can hopefully start to take these ideas that we're going to build upon and morph them into new situations for algebraic equations so we're going to be using variables that represent a variety of different numbers and using those variables we are going to be playing around with different concepts it'll be quite fun so here's our first little thing that i'm going to jump us into so equivalent ex the concept of an equivalent expression is essentially being able to express something one way, but then also being able to look at it in a different manner. So here's one sort of possibility, just so we can relate it to our real life. Alberto is o older than Mika, and another way that we could say that is saying Mika is younger than Alberto. Another way that we could also say that is Alberto was born before Mika, and Mika was born after Alberto. So those are all four are different ways of saying the exact same thing, and that's the concept of equivalent expressions, being able to say something in one way but also think about it in a different perspective. So. In what ways can we potentially express the concept of perimeter in this equation, or in this situation? We have a rectangle that has a length of W and a width of L. And we know perimeter is essentially taking each one of these lengths or widths and adding them all up. So if we look at this, we have two widths that we're going to need to add. So we could say two W's. And then we also see that there's two lengths that we're going to be adding, so plus 2L. And that would equal the perimeter. There's also another way we can look at it. We could say, well, let's look at this like this. We have a width here, and we have a length here, and we have two of those. So we have a length and a width, and another length and a width. So we can also look at, at, at perimeter as saying it is two width plus lengths. So it's one set of sides plus another of that same set. So that's two equivalent expressions. There's two different ways that we can express perimeter in this case. So our word worth knowing is equivalent expressions. And an equivalent expression is exactly what we've been talking about. It's showing multiple ways to express the same idea. So the concept of that perimeter, we can express it as saying 2w plus 2l, or that's also equal to 2 times w plus l. So looking at two of the widths plus two of the lengths, or saying width plus length, and we're multiplying it by two because we have two sets of those things. So equivalent expressions, it's the ability to show multiple ways to express the same idea. Essentially, just looking for equals that are out there. You might say that me as a person, I might weigh 120 pounds, but if there are two kids that were each 60 pounds, we could say each of those two kids is equivalent to my weight. So we can look at my weight as being 120, but we could also say, so one Ms. Beardsley is equal to two of these little 60 pound kids. So that's one way of looking at everything. Now, let's go on and start thinking about this concept of these pools so we can really understand what's happening. In-ground pools are often surrounded by borders of tiles. The custom pool company gets orders for square pools of different sizes. For example, the pool below has side lengths of 5 feet and is surrounded by square border tiles. All, that shouldn't have a little question mark, all custom pool company border tiles measure 1 foot on each side. How many border tiles do you need to surround a square pool with side length S? So, Here's a square pool with side length S. If we were to say that this square pool was a 5 by 5, 
how could we potentially figure out how many border tiles there are going to be? Obviously, there's not just going to be three border tiles across the top. There would be five total border tiles across the top because this is a square pool and it said already that it was five feet in like five feet in width and length. As well, we'd have five more square border tiles on each and every side. So we'd end up with a situation something like this. One way that we could write this expression is saying, well, I'm going to have five border tiles here, I'll have another five here, I'll have another five across here, and another five here. So we have five times four, and then I'm going to have four more that I'm going to add onto there because that represents these corner pieces. There's always going to be that four that we have to add on there. So we have 5 times 4 is e plus 4, and that's going to be 24 total border tiles. Another way that I could potentially think about this is maybe saying, well, I'm going to have 5 plus 1, and I'm going to have a total of 4 sets of those, because I'm going to have 5 plus 1 here, 5 plus 1 here, and 5 plus 1 here. So taking up the five border tiles that we cared about before and then adding that one corner tile that's going to be added there for each of those side lengths. So then that's another way of saying 24. So these two expressions, this one that says five, plus, 5 times 4 plus 4 is equivalent to 5 plus 1 times 4. Looking at this concept of equivalent expressions so now I would like you to start working on the investigation. You're going to do both A and B of this investigation, work through it, and if when you're finished you feel so inclined, you can start on investigation 1.2. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.